Hey everybody, Marco Salon here, and uh, you just saw a very tragic video there. I hope that woman's okay, I don't know what her condition was, but she got shot in the abdomen from a negligent discharge. And some people watching that go like, oh my God, that guy's a complete moron, this and that. And, and don't get me wrong, very ignorant and very, um, very bad move there, very preventable. But at the same time, I see this video going viral, everyone talking trash, and I can't help but say to myself, listen, Unless you've taken formal education, there's a very good chance you've done similar errors. And I'll explain, okay? So, first of all, there's three huge safety rules in gun handling. One, always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. That's the most important of the rules. Two, always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot, okay? And lastly, keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. So, let's talk about uh, in that exact order, all right? So... Let's pretend this is the range, and I'm shooting down range here. Pew, pew, pew. When I'm at the range, there's only one direction that's safe, and that's down range. So when I get to the, when I get to the actual podium, and I put my gun case over there, if I open my gun case and the gun's pointed towards me, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna close the case, turn the case around, then open it, so that when I go to grab my gun, it's pointed down range. That way the gun's literally never pointing anywhere but down range. I don't want to reload my gun like this and come to the side here because now if there's anyone to my left, they're in potential danger. And I don't want to put it up either. If you've ever been inside an indoor range, look at the ceiling. It's full of holes. I don't want you to be that next person that puts a hole in the roof. Okay? When I reload, everything's right here where the gun stays down range. Now, what happened in that video is this person brought their gun in to try to rock their gun. They were having some strength issues and they naturally turned it to their side, okay? And then he started racking this way, and then eventually, while he was working it, his finger was on the trigger, which is the next safety rule, and then it shot, and because the gun was loaded, it put a round into her. So, the second rule is your finger stays off the trigger until you're ready to shoot on the frame of the gun, okay? Not here, but here. And this way, when I wanna shoot, I make a conscious decision to shoot. This is not just for gun range, it's also for self-defense. If, if I hear a noise in my house at three in the morning, okay, I don't wanna be walking around my house with a finger on the trigger, not knowing what's out there, because all of a sudden I turn the corner, oh! okay? When you get scared, you tense up, you squeeze. And if that's my teenage kid sneaking into the house at three in the morning, I may now have accidentally shot my child in the chest. So, same situation, but my finger's off the trigger, I get scared, I may tense up, but nothing happens. Now I make a decision, threat, or not threat, okay? So I have an active, you know, it's a moment of consciousness when I, when I, before I pull the trigger, okay? So when he's working with his gun, his finger should have been off the trigger. Lastly, I don't know if he was dealing with malfunction, but if there's something wrong with your gun and you're trying to work the slide back, just unload the gun first, okay? So that's one issue less you have to worry about. If you notice right now, my gun's not loaded. Why? Because I'm, I'm teaching a demo that's not require it, okay? So let's go back to his situation. He's trying to rack his side back. He seems to be having difficulty, okay? Uh, to rack your side back, there's lots of methods. The one I'm gonna recommend is using your palm here, pushing it against the serrations of your gun. Every gun has these serrations on the back of the slide. Put your palm against that, and then get your four fingers on the other end of it, just like that. So the more skin on the gun, the better. If I wanna keep my fingers clear from the ejection, from this open hole here, because I don't want to get my finger pinched in there. It will cut you, okay? So I stay clear of that ejection port, okay? And I have right there's my grip. Now from here, if this is down range, I'm gonna pull this back while my grip pushes forward like so. Now if I'm loading a gun, all I'm gonna do once I get the back here is let go. A common beginner mistake is to do what's called ride and slide, where they come here and then they control the fall back, the slide back. So they call it riding the slide, they ride it back. The problem with that is the gun's not designed that way. It's designed to use the full force of the slide coming forward. It's like if I got a slingshot, got all the way back here, but then I came up to here and then let it go. You're going against the design. So when you rack it back to the rear, let it go, okay? Now, if we're trying to lock the slide to the rear, it's different, obviously. So you have your slide stop here. What I like to do, is I'll go ahead and readjust my entire grip just to focus on pushing that slide stop up. With the slide stop being pushed up gently, okay, I'm gonna then grab on to the same grip, pull back, and now it's gonna push into a notch in the slide and lock your slide to the rear.
okay? And then to drop it, you can either push down or pull back and let it go. Now, what happened there is that, I'm just guessing, but I've seen this a lot, where guys are here and they're trying to do this. See, I can do it pretty simple, but not everybody has the same amount of strength I do. Not that I'm Hercules or anything, but I'm, I consider myself stronger than the average bear, okay? And not everyone can just do that. So what happens is, he's here trying, trying, and he came like that. Because this position I'm in right now, okay, this is gonna be your most powerful position to do this movement. Okay, it's using your chest muscles right here, okay? So he's here struggling, and he just came here for a second, but he also had his finger on the trigger, and he tensed up, and that's how you shot the person uh, behind him. So I seen that. See, that's why when we do range, when, we, when I teach gun classes at our facility, no matter who you are, the first day is unloaded guns and with lasers in your guns instead of ammunition. So we can look for these kind of behaviors and stop them before they happen. And one thing I look for when I see people struggling here is if that gun starts to turn so I can beat it right away to make sure it doesn't turn. And believe me, I stop people plenty of times. I can't, more than I can count with this exact error. So when I saw this video, I'm like, this is, this is not as uncommon or freakish as people think it is. Maybe the actual pulling the trigger, but that flagging, flagging meaning pointing a, a gun at somebody, that flagging movement happens a lot, okay? So what is the solution, okay? If you're having strength issues with this, or if it's not just necessarily you, it can be the ergonomics, maybe you don't have a good grip on your gun, or the slide's really hard. Different guns have different levels of resistance on the slide, okay? Um, one option you can do is get a gun with an easier slide. Uh, I know Smith & Wesson has a, has a brand right now called Easy Slide, the letter E and the letter Z, Easy Slide. I think it's for the shields. And with the Easy Slide, it's be a lot easier to use. I haven't used one, but I have students that have them, they, they swear by it, okay? But let's say you don't have that and you wanna get this gun going, okay? There's an easy solution for this. So if I'm downrange, boom, 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 and I need to rock the slide back, Okay, rather than doing this and endangering people next to me, I'm just gonna turn my body and do the same exact thing. But now my gun stays pointed down range. It's a small detail, huge difference in result because you're not gonna be putting anyone in danger. So I'm here, okay, I bring my gun in, I turn my body sideways, my gun stays down range, and I just rack it like that, okay? And that should be a very easy way of using your body's natural mechanics here while keeping the gun safe. Okay, and uh, that's my big tip for today. And if uh, you guys want to learn more from me or take any classes with uh, me and my, my club, my Shooters Club, just uh, go ahead and send me your name and phone number and we'll give you a call right away. Thank you.